Good morning, Roller Firefighters, ladies and sorry, family and friends. The South River Exempt Firemen's Association welcomes you to the annual Memorial Day service. Today, we gather at this monument to pay tribute to our fallen comrades who have served our department. In addition, we remember our veterans of past conflicts as well as our personnel currently on duty throughout the world. Detail! Present! Arms! Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come together today to remember how swiftly the years go by as we remember our brothers and sisters who have gone on before us. Please help us to keep our hearts always open to receive your love and compassion. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Since our last Memorial Day service, we have lost the following members. Ex-Chief Christopher Rose Sr., former member of Summit Engine Company.
Exempt firefighter Frank Rosano, former member, engine company number one. <laughs> Placing of the flowers. Family of ex chief Christopher Rowe, escorted by President Gardner of Southern Energy Company. Family of exempt firefighter Frank Rosano, escorted by Stephen Kozmak, engine company number one. Exempt Firemen's Association. Engine Company, number one. Reliable Fire Company. Summit Engine Company. Department Chief Scott Wolf.
Station one and station two, ladies auxiliary. Terrible Fire Department. In memory of the 343 FD New York firefighters, military, first responders, and civilians who perished in the 9-11 attacks, the Exempt Firearms Association will place a flower at our 9-11 monument. words of Susan Diane Murphy. Firemen never die. They just burn forever in the hearts of the people whose lives they've saved. They are grateful to have known them. The fact that the average person takes for granted the work that the people do should not, happily, does not deter you from the work that you do is so important to this town. At least one day a year, we, the citizens of any town, not just South River, to pause and remember the dedication of all firefighters with living in the sea. Thanks to you, our homes and our businesses are safe. In so many ways you help this town. As mayor, on behalf of the citizens, I thank the South River Fire Department, our comrades in Cerebral, and all neighboring towns for your work and your dedication. May we all meet again here next year with all of you present. God bless you. God bless South River.
We'll have closing remarks by Chaplain Nancy McLaughlin. It was the summer of 1912 in English Town, and a young man walked into town with a pack on his back. He walked up to the porch of the village inn, and he said, I'm Bob Campbell. Does anybody need any help on a farm? After a few minutes of discussion, the men decided probably the Redshaws could use some help. Mrs. Redshaw had just had a baby, and their oldest son was only 12. Well, he, this go down towards Old Bridge about five miles, and the farm will be on your left. You can't miss it. Got a beautiful mailbox covered in wood. Sure enough, he walked the long walk. He saw the name Redshaw in the beautiful mailbox, and he straightened his clothes and combed his hair back and went and knocked on the back door. And Mrs. Redshaw answered the door with a very tiny baby. He said, I hear you can do some help. She said, my husband, John's come back behind the barn and go ask him. Well, he introduced himself. John decided to make a good idea. About a month later, a group of boys were swimming in the brook. And they decided, one of them didn't feel too good. So they said, I think I'm going to go home. He got out of the water and he was covered with a terrible rash. And the boy's parents sent for the doctor, and to everyone's heart, it turned out to be small. So the doctor dutifully went to every family and said, it's going to take about 10 days for the rash to come out to find out. Well, that was the most of 10 days for the rest of the day. And sure enough, the doctor would have said, look, he can live if he has good nursing care, the best. You have to take care of him. So the family got together with Bob and decided, well, if he has a chance to live, we'll do our best. So Mr. Redshaw decided that he should be the one to take care of Johnny because Mrs. Redshaw had the baby to take care of him. But Bob spoke up. And he said, no, I have no one in the whole world that knows the family, living or dead. So I'll take care of him. Well, they went upstairs and brought him down because it was hot and it was summer. And he couldn't stay upstairs in that hot room. So they took the old heat shed, cleaned it up. It had cross ventilation. It was under a big tree and it was near the well. And Bob and Johnny stayed there for 10 whole days, almost two weeks. The doctor came and said, you're well, Johnny, and you're well because of the good care Bob gave you. Well, the Red Shaws couldn't thank Bob enough. They said, you saved our son's life. And Mr. Red Shaw said, and as you had not said, I would take care of me. And Bob said, no, no one would have taken care of me. Because if I got sick, I would sneak away in the middle of the night and disappear in the woods. I couldn't live with myself if someone got sick because of me. That's what firefighters do when they enter a burning building to save a trapped person. They couldn't live with themselves if they didn't try their best to save someone. Sometimes it doesn't turn out the way we all hope, and someone does die. And that's why we are here today, to remember with the deepest gratitude those that didn't return home after such a tragedy. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, you so generously keep your loving arms around us and protect us. We are so grateful that South River is blessed never to have lost a firefighter in their line of duty. Please continue to keep all of us to your safety. In your most holy name we pray. Amen.
would like to say thank you to the Monument Committee for those who gave their time to place flags in some of the graves this past week. This year, 182 graves of our deceased brothers had memorial flags placed upon them in 10 cemeteries in South River, Cerebral, East Brunswick, Old Bridge, and North Brunswick. On particular note, one grave site in South River Monument Cemetery, that of a fallen firefighter who died in 1873, was honored with the flag. The department was officially organized in 1896, and prior to, it was a bucket for grave for many years. I'd like to say thank you to Evan Judson, my tax. Thank you to Jeremiah O'Grady, our bag piper. Thank you to firefighter Evan Gardner on the sax, Tom and Engine Company. Thank you to several fire departments for the services to us throughout the year, as well as today, participating in our Fire guard, dismiss colors. Detail! Dismiss! I don't. <laughs> 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 <laughs>